Hi friends, welcome to a new video. If you are new here, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you get latest videos regarding ID Jam Physics that will help you in the preparation of ID Jam Physics entrance exam. So let's go to the today's topic. Today we are uh, discuss about Joule Thomson coefficient. Okay. So first we are looking the definition. Joule Thomson coefficient is ratio of change in temperature to the change in pressure at constant enthalpy. Okay. It is uh, denoted by letter mu which is equal to dou T by dou P at constant enthalpy. Enthalpy is H. So this is the uh, basic uh, equation for mu. Okay. By doing some calculation, you you can reach a general formula for mu, which is equal to one by Cp into T into this is T T into dou V by dou T at constant pressure minus V. Okay. Uh, first, uh, today's uh, agenda is derive this for uh, this one from this okay so we know that enthalpy h is a function of temperature and pressure okay so from here we can write dh is equal to dou h by dou t at constant pressure into dt plus dou h by dou p at constant temperature into dp okay so we know that this quantity that is dou h by dou t at constant pressure which is nothing but cp heat capacity at constant pressure so we will write dh is equal to cp into dt plus here uh, we have such uh, formula for this one dou h by dou p at constant temperature so what we will do we will look for help from D tds equation tds equation okay so we need dou h by dou p at constant temperature this one we need okay let's start from basic we know that h is equal to u plus pv u plus pv this is basic equation right yes we can start from the basic okay then differentiate throughout differentiate then we get dh is equal to du plus p d v plus v d p okay uh, from first law of thermodynamics you know that d q equal to what d u plus p d v so for this one you can just substitute d q here so we will reach from here to here d h is equal to dq plus vdp okay from the second law of thermodynamics you know that you know uh, you know dq is equal to what tds ds s is entropy dq equal to tds so by using this one this formula become dh is equal to tds plus v this is p v d p okay v d p okay so um, we need dou h by dou p at constant temperature right so we will do uh, from here we we need dou h by dou p at constant temperature right so we will divide these 
this equation by dp assuming d as constant then we get dh by dp at constant temperature which is equal to t into ds by dp at constant temperature plus here dp by dp is 1 so remaining what v okay so we got the equation now we almost done here we can uh, change this derivative into partial derivative no problem so we reach here dou h by dou p at constant temperature which is equal to t into dou s by dou p into t plus v okay now we substitute this one substitute this one from maxwell equation maxwell equation from maxwell equation we get dou s by dou p at constant temperature we can write this as dou v by dou t at constant pressure but there is a minus sign so our dou h by dou p at constant temperature will become this formula become dou h by dou p at constant temperature which is equal to v minus t into dou v by dou t at constant pressure so this is the formula we need to substitute our main equation okay substitute this one we will substitute this one in above equation which is the above equation i will show you yes here here we will substitute the uh, dou h by dou p at constant temperature what we got we got okay we will do one thing we will here we can uh, use we can copy this one sorry and move to here yes yes here we will put this okay so write um, here we can write instead of dou h by dou p at constant temperature we can write v minus t dou v by dou t at constant pressure right into here there is a dp so we will write dp okay so we will erase this one okay now enthalpy is constant enthalpy is constant so therefore dh will be zero at least this part will be zero right okay so we will put a line here so that okay okay so uh, this become zero equal to cp into dt plus v minus t into dou v by dou t at constant pressure into dp right so from here we will get uh, cp dt which is equal to minus of uh, minus of v minus t dou v by dou t at constant pressure into dp okay we will 
rearrange little bit I mean we will take this DP into this side so that it become DT by DP it is at H constant H because we use a zero so we can write here CP will go to this side so that it become 1 by CP minus minus will go and it become T dou V by dou T at constant pressure minus V this one is nothing but mu so we can write mu equal to 1 by CP T into T into dou V by dou T at constant pressure minus V so this is the formula this is the general formula for mu I hope it is clear okay so what we will then uh, so far we defined what is joule thomson coefficient mu which is nothing but dou t by dou p at constant h by some calculation we reach the general formula mu is equal to 1 by cp into t into dou v by dou t at constant pressure minus v okay now we will derive uh, so uh, next we will look uh, for ideal gas for ideal gas what is mu okay for ideal gas you know the state equation pv equal to rt from this we can uh, get uh, dou v by dou t at constant pressure okay which is become equal to uh, r by p right r by p so substitute in our general equation which is mu equal to 1 by cp t into dou v by dou t at constant pressure is r by p so we will put r by p minus v okay we know that pv equal to rt and then rt by p which is nothing but v that is this quantity is nothing but v so which is mu equal 1 by cp v minus v so mu equal to 0 so we got uh, four ideal gas four ideal gas for ideal gas mu equal to 0 okay and then we will move to uh, what is mu for mu for van der Waal gas van der Waal gas for van der Waal gas the state equation is p plus a by v square into v minus b which is equal to rt and then we can write this as p equal to rt by v minus b minus a by v square now next step is uh, we will differentiate this equation that is equation number one with respect to v as taking p as constant p as constant okay this is a little bit a longer process so we are not going to do now so by uh, finding dv do, sorry dou v by dou t at constant pressure then you substitute and finally you reach here mu equal to 1 by cp i'm not going to do the derivation because it is a little longer so finally we will reach here mu equal to 1 by cp into 2a by rt minus b so this is the equation for mu for in the case of van der Waal gas van der Waal van der Waal gas okay uh, I um, okay next uh, 
from this we can derive we can uh, get a, a new idea idea of inversion temperature temperature of inversion or inversion temperature that means if if temperature is less than 2a by rb then the gas will gas will gas will cool cool down when when it passes through porous plug porous plug in uh, if, you, if you are not uh, familiar with this read uh, about thomson joule thomson experiment okay in that we have a porous plug and gas will uh, move from pressure p1 to p2 okay in that process if the temperature is less than 2a 2a by rb then gas will cool down and if if the temperature is greater than 2a by rb then gas will heat up gas will heat up when it passes through the porous plug okay if t is 2a by rb exactly equal to 2a by rb then no heat no cool okay so the temperature 2a by rb is called inversion temperature that is the the temperature below which the gas will cool and above which gas will heat up okay the temperature the temperature below which gas will cool down cool down and above which and above which above which gas will heat up that temperature is called inversion temperature inversion temperature or temperature of inversion if you like which is equal to 2a by rb 2a by rb 2a by rb so this is all about joule thomson coefficient if you like this video uh, please share to your friends and subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get uh, notification of new videos so thank you once again